uh, welcome to our session today. I am your instructor, CPA Ringo Frederick, and I'm, again, I'm very privileged uh, to take uh, you through through this uh, unit, advanced taxation. We know very well that this is a new uh, uh, this is a content under the revised syllabus, which initially it used to be advanced public finance and taxation, but under this revised syllabus, we will be focusing on advanced taxation part of it. So, uh, in our session today, I just want us to look at an overview of what we'll be expected to cover at this level. I just want us to look at an overview of what we will be expected to cover at this level. Because uh, when you're done with this, we expect that uh, at least you should go there and practice working as tax consultants uh, and also advisors. So, uh, on this note, Looking at an overview of ad advanced taxation under the revised syllabus, we only have, uh, we're only having nine topics, by the way, only nine topics that you'll be expected to cover at this level. And these will include the following topics. Topic number one, what will be expected to cover under topic number one is what is known as, uh, talk about topic number one, we will be expected to cover taxation of business income, taxation uh, taxation of our uh, business income, uh, taxation of our uh, business income, taxation of our uh, business income, taxation of business income, taxation of business income, and uh, specialized business activities, and uh, specialized and uh, specialized business activities, and specialized uh, business activities. Basically, what we'll be covering are this topic, my good students. Uh, We'll be looking at uh, specifically, we'll be talking about taxation of partnership. Because remember, partnership, you can look at it in terms of uh, admission, in terms of uh, maybe retirement, talk about conversion of partnership. So the main focus in topic number one, our main focus ideally will be on partnership. And this partnership, look at it in terms of con uh, conversion to a limited company. Look at it in terms of admission of a new partner to our business. Talk about retirement of partners also in our business. So that is what we'll be expected to cover in topic number one. What about topic number two? Topic number two, we will be expected to cover now what is known as what? Limited companies. We will be expected to cover what is known now as what? Limited companies. So like, uh, init uh, like initially, if uh, you were to talk of uh, the previous uh, syllabus, and uh, taxation of business company, limited company was also included there, which I think was uh, topic number five. But under this revised syllabus, we will be expected to look at limited company as a topic on its own. Because at this point, you are going to analyze and cover various types of companies from aspect of to do with, uh, we'll be looking at a various form of companies, whereby it is at this point that we are going to cover the concept of uh, dividends, that is a shortfall distribution. We'll also be expected to cover items like uh, taxation of dividends, talk about rental income, charitable institution, leasing entities, cooperative entities, uh, or rather cooperative societies and circles, all that you are going to uh, cover it in topic number, topic number two. And that would make topic number two to be the longest topic under this revised content when you're looking at advanced taxation. This will be the longest topic that you'll be having at this level. After we've uh, talked of uh, topic number two, the other topic that we'll be expected to cover at this point is topic number three, which in this case, it will be upon us to understand the concept of what? Value-added tax, or rather talk about a value-added tax administration. 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 Administration. We will be expected to cover VAT in topic number three, and you are going to look deep into VAT. And the beauty part of it is that uh, there's this concept uh, which again we'll be looking at the aspect of restriction component of VAT. We'll be looking at how to restrict some uh, uh, values whenever we are handling a VAT. That is, of course, the aspect of restriction of input and tax claimable. 
restriction of input and tax claimable. Now, an interesting topic under this unit is known as tax investigation, a very interesting and practical topic that we'll also be covering at this point. Yes, it was there also on uh, the previous uh, syllabus, but again, it is also here in this revised syllabus. It is always a very, very interesting uh, uh, topic to cover because it is always very, very practical. It is very practical. So on this case, uh, in this case, we are talking about uh, tax investigation. That is a topic number four. We'll be looking at uh, tax investigation. Tax investigation. Talk about uh, tax investigation. We'll be expected to cover tax investigation at this level. Uh, topic number four. We'll be expected to cover tax investigation. And of course, that is a concept here, but we'll also be looking at back duty. Talk about factors that may trigger tax investigation and all that concept, right? Then, after we've uh, talked of that case, a very new topic that they have introduced at this level, which is also very practical, which again, you'll always be expected to understand, probably, if you are to specialize in tax later on, this is what is known as what? Tax dispute resolution mechanism. That is topic number five. Topic number five, you'll be expected to cover what is known as what? Tax dispute, uh, task, uh, uh, tax dispute, uh, tax dispute resolution mechanism, tax dispute resolution mechanism, tax dispute resolution mechanism, mechanism. So this is what you'll be expected to cover under topic number five, under topic number five, and you'll find it to be very, very practical. You'll find it to be very, very practical. What about topic number six? Topic number six, again, this uh, was there earlier on in the previous uh, syllabus. But at this point, you'll find that they have incorporated some of new elements which will be expected also to understand. And uh, looking at topic number six, we'll be expected to cover what is known as what? Tax of cross-border activities. These are taxation or taxation of cross-border activities. Taxation of cross-border activities. Taxation of cross-border activities. We'll be expected to cover taxation of cross-border activities at this point taxation of cross-border activities. That is what we'll be expected to cover at this point. Then, uh, of course, uh, looking at uh, topic number seven, topic number seven, uh, what will be expected to cover under topic number seven, uh, basically at this point is what is known as what? Tax planning. A very interesting topic, tax planning. At this point, we are going to look at it in a case whereby I know majority of us will always want to reduce the tax that we are paying, right? So what are the best ways which are legal that you're going to use to reduce your tax liability? Either as an individual or as a company. Legal ways of reducing our tax liability, which ideally normally term it as what? Uh, talk about uh, tax avoidance, right? How can we avoid our tax? We're not talking like, uh, we won't say like, uh, when <laughs> maybe to open uh, offshore accounts. No, no, no. Uh, as much as is away, but uh, we won't be talking of opening offshore accounts and all that, right? Uh, in this case, we'll be looking at what? We'll be looking at uh, exactly what is covering us uh, in that uh, you as an individual or you as a company, what are the best and legal ways that you can use for you to reduce your tax liability? So basically, that is what we'll be covering under tax planning, a very interesting uh, unit, uh, a very interesting topic. Talk about topic number eight. Topic number eight, we'll be expected to cover and understand. I know this one used to be there, and it used to be at a basic level also. The aspect to do with our tax systems. Talk about our tax systems and policies. Tax systems and policies. Tax systems and policy. That is what we'll be expected to cover under topic number eight. And finally, topic number nine. Topic number nine, we will be expected to cover and understand professional practice in taxation professional practice in taxation professional uh, practice professional law uh, practice professional law uh, practice in taxation professional practice in taxation this is what will be expected to cover professional practice in taxation that is what will be expected to cover in topic number topic number nine so you'll find that uh, uh, this is uh, what will entail everything that will be expected to cover at this level and advanced taxation and advanced taxation at this level this is what 
we will be expected to cover and understand each and every each and every component each and every concept this will be expected to cover so uh, as usual as i've mentioned that uh, some of uh, one of the longest topic that we'll be having that will be topic number two because it will comprise so many elements that will be required to cover including the aspect of uh, digital tax service I know this is a very new element uh, which I uh, was just introduced the other day, a very interesting bit, uh, digital tax service. We'll be looking at so many new elements also under limited companies. So to this point, my good students, I'll want you to join me in the next session whereby now we are going to introduce topic number one. Remember topic number one we've said is going to incorporate the aspect of what? The aspect of partnership, taxation of partnership mostly. So this is what we will expect to cover and uh, let us meet in our next class where we are going to analyze topic number one. Thank you so much and let us meet in the next session. Thank you.